Good evening, my friends. Today, I will show all of you guys the problems I met when I start using the STM thirty two Q IDE and how to fix them. Straight to the point. I will open up the IDE. In this case, for example, I'm using the ST Link version two USB dongle and the blue billboard running the STM thirty two F one. Okay, now we'll launch the IDE. Just wait a moment. Now the IDE is open up. The first thing we have to do is create a new STM32. And wait. From this window, we will select the MPU. I'm using the STM32 F103 C8. Okay, select this. Next, name for the project to view for. Test. Okay, Next. and finish. And wait a minute. After that, the cube MX show up. From here, we will have a few basic configuration like I will using the external crystal, and I will set the BC13 pin as output. This pin is connected to the building LED on a blue billboard. Now go to the clock and select this, select this, select 18 megahertz, and then generate the gold just wait a minute okay the code is generated now we will go to blue view test core source open the main.c file go to the debug configuration and let me see we don't need to change anything from here so we just close select debug STM32 so this is the first problem the SD link we use is run on the old firmware so the IDE requires upgrade the firmware we just click OK and yes the first thing you we will remove the ST link USB dongle and then reconnect click here to refresh click here and then upgrade Okay, upgrade successful. After upgrade the SDL firmware, now we will debug again. And this is the second problem. No device phone on target. And the solution for this problem is that we will erase the whole flash memory. But I have no idea how to erase the flash memory using the SDM32 Cube IDE. So I will use in the SDM32 SD Link utility to erase the flash memory. First, we connect. To the target and this is the third problem it says please select connect and the reset mode from target okay now we go target setting select connect and the reset and click
click OK. OK, OK. Let's check again. OK. OK. Now we will press and hold the reset button on the ball. Then click here. Click here. Remove the reset button. OK, now we connect to the target. Click here to erase full chip. Now the flash memory on the MCU is erased. Disconnect. Come back to the IDE. Now we debug again. Click here. Okay, now we debug successfully. But, 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 let debug again and you will see the next problem. No device for target. This problem occurred again. Why, why, why did it occur again? Because from here. The debug function is disabled. Now I will select the serial Y to debug. Okay, we will regenerate the code. Okay, the difference in the code is that this line is add to the main.c file and now debug again. Oh, I forget to erase the flash memory before the bug. Now go back to the s utility, connect to the target. But first, we will press and hold the reset button on the ball. Then connect and remove the reset button. Okay, erase all. Okay, disconnect. Now we will we go back to the IDE and debug again. Okay, we we'll debug this set successfully. Stop. Stop debugging. And then debug again. And well, there's no problem. Let's try again. Okay, debug successfully. And the chip, the chip is running. Okay, we have the set to solve the problem when we start using the STM32Cube IDE. And thank you for watching this video.